guys. Um, first of all, you want to make sure that you have a static IP address. You would get this from your internet uh, provider. Second step, you're going to go ahead and go to the debug console. It's under tools, debug console. I already have it open right here. You're going to go ahead and type in masternode gen key. Hit enter. Your output should look something like this down here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and copy that into a safe notepad file like I have right here. For the next step, you're going to type in get account address space whatever you want the account address to be. Mine is a uh, masternode1. You hit enter. Then that will give you the output. It will look something like this. This will be your wallet receive address file. Okay? Go ahead and store that in the same file that you stored the uh, gen key in. Next, you want to go ahead and send... 6,250 cent to the generated account address. So you're going to use that copied address and copy it. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to say, look, mine says masternode1 because I had labeled it before. You hit send to 6,250 right there and hit yes. I've already sent it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Go ahead and wait a couple minutes. Um, it's going to have to do the confirmations for that. It should may take 30 seconds to a minute or two. After that, go to the debug console, type in masternode outputs. So, masternode outputs. All right. And there we go. Hit that. Then it'll go ahead and come up with something like this. If you only have one masternode, if you didn't send up anything on a VPS or anything like that, you'll just have this one. After that, you're going to go ahead and open up your masternode configuration file. Okay, so you go to Tools, Masternode Configuration File, which mine just happens to be right here. It's going to look something like this. It's going to have like these little um, hash marks in front of everything. You're going to have to delete the hash mark, then type it out just like this. So I'll go ahead and type it again for you, just to show you what it's going to look like. First, you're going to type in MN1 or whatever, whatever Masternode it is. Then you're going to put in your, your public IP address. But you can go ahead and find your IP address, just Google my public IP address or whatever, and it'll pop up. Okay, then you will go ahead and put uh, uh, the 650050, which is the port number. You're going to type in the gen key that you created, the second step right here, or first step right here, sorry. This first step, you're going to copy this and put it right here. So I'll go ahead and copy, copy, space, paste. Then you're going to go ahead and take the, uh, whatever that master node outputs gave you. You're just going to take this number in between the parentheses, which might happen to be this. Then you take the zero, and you take the zero, and you put that at the very end. Okay? Now make sure, again, you don't have a hash mark in front of this. Go ahead and save the file. Okay, uh, so next we're going to go ahead and set up the master node on a VPS. So you're going to go ahead and deploy a new instance. Um, go to Miami, I use Ubuntu 16.04, please use that if you're going to follow this tutorial. Um, pick the cheapest version, the 250. After that, uh, you can figure out how to get your own SSH keys. Um, there's many of tutorials, just look it up on Google. Enter your host name, in my case I'll go ahead and say uh, Masternode3. And deploy now. Okay, well, since it's already deployed it, um, it's already deployed, so you can just go ahead and uh, SSH in. You're going to copy the IP address and go to, I use Putty on Windows, go ahead and copy, paste that IP address, open the window, copy the password, hit root, I type in root, then uh, go ahead and copy and paste your password. And next, you want to go ahead and do the install script for the for the um, send masternode wallet that downloads pretty much all of the uh, dependencies for you. So it makes it really easy. Um, this actually takes a really, really long time. So in the meantime, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, yeah, 
Uh, not really. But actually, I'm gonna fast forward to this part so you guys can uh, not get super bored listening to this. So, in a couple of seconds, go we'll finish all these installations. It'll take about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. So, I would just go do this and then go walk away and come back a little while later and it should be done. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go to the next step. Uh, scroll down, go, go ahead and edit the uh, wallet configuration file. So, enter into the configuration file. Um, go to RPC users. Go ahead and uh, delete the current one. I like to make my own. So you delete this, and then you go over to your uh, safe place, which is where you configured your, uh, your your RPC username, which is send me to the moon, because that's where we're gonna go. For the RPC password, um, go ahead and uh, type in whatever you want. Uh, in this example, I'm gonna use test one two three test. One two three, and type in your look your uh, not your local IP. Type in your public IP address for the server. That's the one you use to root in, to log into this uh, the session. Um, for your NAS and private key, I actually messed up doing this video. You don't want to copy and paste your master node outputs. <laughs> so uh, if you're watching this video and you didn't want to listen to sound, I put a little explanation mark up there. Copy your Gen key output. Uh, paste that right uh, right down there. Then change the server. I changed it to 3. Change your master node to 3 as well. I don't think I did that in this video. But honestly, I don't really think that matters. It doesn't really change anything. Um, go ahead and save your file. And you're going to have to uh, restart. Uh, I didn't even did the, did the research for you. They actually changed some of the steps to this. You have to kill the send program first and then restart it because for some reason I guess they won't allow you to uh, restart it if they're if your RPC password and user are different than what you started it with so uh, you have to force it to stop and then start it again alright um, I'm gonna go to an, uh, back to the original video um, this is just gonna take back some of the settings from the wallets, wallet setup we did for um, for the local VPS or for the lo local uh, send master node. So for this, you're gonna um, make sure you do staking one. So you stake all of your earn earnings from the master node. Um, change your RPC user. Send me to the moon. RPC password. Same thing as before. You've done the other VPS. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. Uh, everything else, you actually uh, for the local one, you have to. In put all the other stuff but you don't put anything for that one. Anyways back we're gonna go back to the VAPS tutorial which was master node three. You're gonna start alias on the master node tab, type in your password. You'll know if you did this wrong, if you did something wrong in this because it won't ask you to type in your password. So um, I successfully started it. Um, it took me about ten minutes to uh, I just kinda waited for this and yeah you have to restart the restart the wallet a few times and see if it kicks in um, yeah it kicked in in about 10 minutes for me so yep that's pretty much it uh, just wait 10 minutes and voila you can see it has started anyways um, next part of my tutorial uh, I'm gonna explain how to set up the master nodes online monitoring I've looked up an easier way to find out within five minutes if your master node is running well or not. What you can go ahead and do, go ahead and click on this master node online monitoring. Allow. You're going to go ahead and say that you're not a robot. Generate a new seed number. You're going to have to copy this, put it someplace safe. Uh, you could put it back. And paste okay so that's your password basically to get in here go back to your login and click that local IP address again we gotta copy and paste this one copy address paste now this is your public key so I'm not really worried that you guys probably just saw some of my public keys anybody can see your public key it's not a big deal as long as they don't have your private key it's that's when you gotta start worrying about things go ahead and add that to your monitoring 
As you can see down here, it tells you last time that the uh, masternodes.com online or whatever saw your masternode. And it says that it's enabled. And it also tells you what your daily income is, 56 cents. So then you go, I'm going to go ahead and go back to this file, close this. We went ahead and showed you that. Troubleshooting. Uh, another problem you might have is you want to make sure you port forward 5005 from your router to your PC. With a Buffalo router, it's called port forwarding. I think it's TCP. That was the end of my tutorial. Hopefully now you have a working VPS master node. Send coin. Anyways, if you like this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button and notifications. If you have any questions, please comment below and the community will get back to you.